Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kimberly. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you are new. But today's video is an exciting one. I have purchased a lot of items on AliExpress. All of these items, I thought it would help me organize like my suitcase and when I go on holidays and everything. And I thought I would just give so many travel items a go from AliExpress because some of them were like five bucks and even cheaper. So it's so good and hopefully the items that I did pick up will help me like travel and make me organized and like I don't know things more convenient if that kind of makes sense but yeah I did purchase a big order at the end of March and I've had majority of this stuff for maybe about two to three weeks now and I have been waiting there's about five more items due to come but I'm just like what if they never come so I'm just like I'm just gonna make this video I feel like I have enough stuff anyway because I spent a lot of money on AliExpress and some of the items are a bit hit and miss and other items are like good and I've already started using it in my suitcase basically yeah let's get into kind of all of the items I'll also try and link as many items that I did purchase in the description down below as well as like pricing and everything like that but yeah let's get Get into the video. I don't even know where to start to be honest because there are so many items that are so similar and I don't know why I purchased them and then there's other items that are just random and I've tried to make use of them. I don't know we'll start off with this little like mesh pencil case. I don't know why I bought it. I think I bought it to organize my cords or something like that but I've ended up using it for like my makeup brushes and it is like so helpful to be honest because it's like mesh so it's not going to take up much room in my like makeup bag itself and I can somewhat see everything in there anyway and there's like breathing holes and everything like that inside there can we guys see this little pouch not that I've used it but I think this was like supposed to be like a pencil case and you'd put like your sharpener and rubber in there but I guess that's something that I could put like cotton tips in maybe I'm not too sure yet but yeah, this was like two bucks. So good. So like light. <laughs> because when you're traveling, you don't want to like jacks that are going to like just weigh your suitcase up more. But yeah, so I'm definitely taking this and I got it in like a peach color, which is kind of mutual and it's got that cute little, it almost looks blue. Like I would say that's blue, but in real life, it's like a, an almost white color. But yeah, that's my first purchase. Next thing we picked up was this drawstring bag. I actually picked up two other ones in different designs, so I'll show you them next. But I thought this would be really helpful to like either put like cords in there or anything basically. Like it's really good to just have pouches in your bag so you can organize things. But I'm putting my pajamas in there at the moment. So I just popped them in and I feel like you could even put like socks in there or anything like that. These again were like two, three dollars. And I also love like the pattern. It's like that cotton material but it's very like thick too so it's really good quality the drawstring on it is really good too and it's kind of just like your basic item which is good I also picked up this bigger one in like a kind of charcoal pinstripe material I don't know if I'm taking this as of yet but I thought it'd be really good to have like some sizes to use and if I need to take it like it's flat anyway then I picked up this really cool pattern one it's in like a small size so I would say that's probably like 10 centimeters tall maybe it's like a really fun pattern it's like melons almost I think but I've just used it to like put my vitamins in there I'm not too sure if I'm gonna keep them in there but we've just used that to organize my bag at the moment the next thing I'm gonna show you is something that like changed my suitcase bag around and it is like six packing cubes that are in like a cactus shape I couldn't get all of them out so like I only just got a few the only thing is this small one is a little bit too small. Like, I'm definitely not going to be taking this. These, like, if you don't have packing cubes and you're traveling, like, honestly, what are you doing? Because they make organizing your bag so much easier. Like, in here, I've got my pants. In here, I've got, like, all of my dresses. And you can see them because it's got that mesh topping. And then in here, I've got all of my top. You guys would have seen from my packing vlog the way that I've used them in my suitcase, too. So they were so helpful. I think they were, like, 12 or 13 dollars. 
they're not the best of quality but they're definitely gonna last me through Europe and then when I get back I can get something else but I am a massive fan of packing cubes I just feel like they change and organize your suitcase so much better the next thing we picked up was this peachy little battery pack and it's got a little mesh pocket on the back I'm using it for like my headphones and a battery pack right now to organize it I'm not too sure if I'm gonna move my cords or my adapters in here but that's what we're using and I'm gonna be popping this in like my carry-on but this itself is actually really good quality it's kind of got padding inside the lining here itself like it's not just like a bit of material even like the backing itself has padding too which is really good little things like this just make it easy to find things basically but yeah I really am happy with this it's really good quality and it's bright so easy to see so I picked up a few first aid pouches because I wanted to take a little first aid kit. When I've traveled in the past, I haven't had one, but I just feel like I'm going for such a long period of time that I need to have one because I know that I will get sick or I know that something will happen to me. So this is my favorite one so far. I think I picked up four other ones, but they're okay. I'll just leave them around the house or if somebody like in my family wants them, we can do that. But this itself was just like your good medium size one and I've kind of got all of my first aid stuff in there so we've got a plastic pouch there and then under there is like another pouch itself it's also got like an elastic thing in the middle I'm not too sure what that is for but I did put like my scissors and my nail clippers in there because I feel like it's a good thing to have and then it's also got two other lining mesh pocket I haven't really used the first one itself but in the back I've just got some like creams and a little bit of a container I'm gonna do like a first aid in depth thing but yeah so this is like your medium size I also picked up the smaller one so this I'm not gonna take because I do like the other one better but this is just a smaller version. I feel like I had too many items for this to work anyway. So I could always put like my personal pills in there. But I don't know if I'm going to take it. I feel like one itself is enough. But yeah, these were like 3 $4 anyway. So I picked up that first aid. I think it's a really good idea to take like a first aid kit when you do travel. Because sometimes you don't even have time to stop to get things. And what I've packed is just a small amount that will get me through a day. And by then I'd probably be at the shop anyway so it's good I can just get a top up but yeah so I kind of wanted to get a good first aid bag itself so it would last me for future trips so I'm really happy with that blue one but I also picked up this one which I like to be honest like again I wish I didn't have as much stuff because this would have been really good. It's more your landscape. So you open it up and you've got like a mesh slip here. You've also got a zipper little pocket there. And then here is like just a plain pocket. So you could put like your pills in there. And then like some other items in there. And then more items in there. But yeah, that's another first aid kit I picked up. Next thing we picked up was this like toiletry pout thing <laughs> but I thought this is really good because it actually takes up like no room so when I use all of the product I can just like either throw it out or just put it flat in my toiletry bag and I also like that as I use more product I can just like squeeze it down and I'm not really wasting that much um I've just got body wash in it but I feel like I'm gonna change this to because I have two other ones to like shampoo and conditioner because it's just easy to get everything out and they're like so compacted like so flat this isn't like travel related but I really wanted to get a jade roller I think I paid like maybe five or six bucks for this and they're like the crazy trend of the moment but I've been using this like to infuse my serums basically on my skin. I don't know if I will take this with me, but I have really been enjoying doing it. I just put like hyaluronic serum on my face and roll it on. I've used this once, but it's quite intense to be honest. Like on your forehead, you really do feel it. But yeah, something like this is like really good. I've put it in my fridge before, so it's colder when you do put your like skin products on. But yeah, that was like a really good buy because in the shops are like 30 bucks. So it's yeah, just a good jade roller. Next thing we picked up was like a little pouch. This is like the only thing I feel like that I haven't opened up. I did actually buy two of these. Um, 
but I thought this would be really good being a girl if you needed to put like a pad or tampon in it's like a little secret pouch itself um, even like to put money in or something like that it's something good to have while you're traveling yeah these are like super duper cheap too and I feel like the design of them is so cute I'm just gonna get the last first aid kit over the way because this was something I didn't realize would be this big but you know what I could fill this and leave it in my car it's just like a big first aid kit it's like bigger than my head <laughs> But the design of this itself is really good. You've got like a mesh pouch thing in here and you've also got like elastic things so it can hold bandages and everything like that. You've also got like two zip pouches. One's got like a broken line in between it so you can put something in there and then something in here. Um, and then this is a really big pouch so you could just put all your prescription drugs in there I guess. Um, and then this is just the bottom of it so you can like fill that up with things. But yeah, it was just a little bit too big for me. I only really wanted something small to be honest. I didn't even want to take as big of a pouch that I have. But I think if you were like traveling with two people, this would be like a good size or if you were traveling with a family and you had to put a few different like medication in there, it'd be really, really good. Again, it's pretty good quality considering it was like five bucks from my So it has like a strap here too. So if you need to walk it, too big for me for a Europe, but we still bought it. <laughs> Next thing we picked up was like kind of a toilet brush and a toothpaste holder, but it does not fit my toothpaste, like the nozzle itself that squeezes the toothpaste out. I don't know, like this just must be a toothbrush holder, it does not fit. So we're not taking this, but I thought it would have been like a good organizer thing to have my toothbrush and my toothpaste all in one case, but didn't really work out. <laughs> oh, that's where my other squeezy tube was. This is like a pink like an off pink color maybe or an off white color but yeah i've just put like moisturizer in that one next thing we picked up were toothbrush holders i've already put like a mint green one on my toothbrush and i've never had these before but these are like really cool colors these are really cool colors they've almost got like a spotty detailing to them i'm gonna totally look like a beauty guru now how do i even do that is that focusing How do you even focus it? Oh, anyway, it's like a pink color. <laughs> and then we've also got like a, a beigey gray speckle one and a blue one. And I use the mint green one. Next thing we picked up and I honestly thought these had earplugs in them because in the photo, I will insert the photo right here. It had like a photo with earplugs in them, but no, it wasn't. It's just like these clear cases. That I don't even know what I'm going to use for to be honest and I've got a little latch lever maybe they'll be good for jewelry but yeah so I picked these ones up but yeah I picked these up thinking they would have earplugs in them but they didn't so now we have these like clear containers that I don't know what I'm going to use them for I'll keep you guys posted but I think these were almost a little bit of waste of money another fail this was advertised which is like a little cuttery like travel case. This was advertised with like a knife, a spoon and chopsticks. And I was like, this is perfect because I've stayed in hotels before and they don't even have a fork or a spoon. So if I'm going to the shop and I just want to have dinner at my hotel, I don't have anything to eat it with. So I was like, I'll get a fork and then just take a knife from home and then I'll have a spoon. But it was just the case. So it was again a waste of my money because I had this with like normal knife and forks that we have at home and this is a little bit too small so don't be fooled by that because I definitely was and maybe I could find like smaller knife and forks and this could be the case. I think I'm just going to buy a little travel set, something like that. But yeah, that was another AliExpress fail. Next thing we picked up was this cute little cactus pouch super duper cute it's like canvas and inside it's black lined not sure if i'm gonna take it but i did pick it up thinking i could put my makeup brushes in there but it's too small because this one itself is like a lot bigger so yeah that one got outvoted for the other but i'm sure i could use this for other items at home i didn't know that i ordered two of these but i did and in the photo they looked a lot smaller than what they were but they're just like these 
plastic pouches and they've got cute little cactus decorations i'm obsessed with like plants if you guys didn't know so anything with like a plant decoration on it like i'm there for but yeah not sure if i'm gonna take these to be honest and then the last two items i picked up were some more plastic pouches this one itself has got cactuses on it are we surprised no i also thought i could use these for like my swimmers pop them in there they're somewhat waterproof so that's another thing I might take with me. And then we've got a bigger one. I was going to put my shoes in there, but I ended up buying these packing cubes. So I don't think I'm going to use this. I also didn't think it would be this big. That's the last thing I picked up. But yeah, that is everything I did pick up from AliExpress. I'm sure you guys will see in my next videos the items that I will be taking with me when I go traveling. But yeah, some of these were a really good buy and other things I kind of wasted my money on. But that's what online shopping is all about, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, everything will be linked down below for you guys. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you are new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Do you know what I love so much? The fact that I just filmed like a 15 minute video with forgetting to put lipstick on. And I look like I have no top lip because I had foundation on it. And I just feel like that video is such a waste now. But can't be bothered to refilm it. So you guys are just going to have to deal with it. But how upsetting. Does anybody else hate that? Like when they take a selfie and they have no lipstick on and they forgot to put it on. Because I feel easiest. I really do.